Hello judges, this is Raffles Rescue Team 2, uh, comprising Chen Ruimin, Tu Yao Wei, Sang Rui Hong, and Lai Tian Hui. I am Representative Sang Rui Hong, and I'll be giving a short video presentation of two parts of five minutes each regarding our uh, team and what we have done. So our team basically uh, is split in this way. So the programmers, the software part is done by Ruimin and Yao Wei and the hardware part is done by uh, myself and Tianhui. For the hardware design, um, the claw part, we use a grab and lift system, which allows the motor to both grab and lift the object with one motor. And to enhance the claw grip, we added four pieces of rubber to each side of the claw. And of course, we have to pick up balls also, so they'll be deposited into the sorting mechanism uh, via another motor here. And then, the rescue kit, which is the Lego block, because it kind of roll, will be grabbed by the claw itself and released at the right moment such that it um, lands in the zone. And the sorting mechanism, uh, you can see here's a side view of the robot here, right? See there's like a ramp this way. So after the the motor here uh, is able to push the ball into uh, like either of the racks here, right? Then you roll down. And then you'll be deposited via like a so like a lever here where we will put the ball on a on an intermediate rest point and then um when the robot goes back reverses and then it hits against the wall then it will uh launch the ball. So which is this part here. Lah. So it's sloped gently using axles to station them at the optimal point of or uh, for ejection and then uh, the angle of beams will be pushed clockwise by the container so it's built at this height that it can actually hit the container and the two ramps are for orange balls and white balls res respectively and are capable of holding more than one ball you can see it's quite long yeah and next for the software design uh, we are able to do line checking as well as maneuver maneuvering around the small bumps obstacles and turn using the green square. So I'll show you the video here. Oh, you can see like the, the small white things on the ground, right? Those are meant to be uh, simulating the bumps so that you can see that robot actually is able to go through them without much difficulty and you can also follow the line tracking follow the line pretty accurately so yeah that's what we have uh, this will conclude my first part of the presentation. Oh, uh, okay. So it's uh Ray Hong back here again with the second part of our team's uh presentation. Uh, this time uh I'll show you the line checking, maybe a bit more. Um, the the green square sequence uh in particular a bit more uh in detail. So here's a video. So you can go through like the like even the part where the line uh is broken. Uh, you can go through that part pretty easily and like um also you can see like uh it follows the the zigzag lines and then also does the turn when it's necessary and um next would be kind of our takeaways for the for this competition so one thing is about setting concrete goals and sticking to them because uh, while working on a robot, our team got stuck on certain things and it's not easy. Uh. So those things delay our progress by a lot and we only had like one or two CCA sessions per week as well as our um, other academic pursuits. And if we had a more detailed timeline, deadline for ourselves, we would have, we would have managed our prep time a lot better and achieved more things. So it's about the collaboration between us. Uh. And also about the plan B, because um, initially we were trying to also do like the things like collecting the like the claw part as well as the the 
the ball depositing part, like I mentioned earlier. But then, um, because of the sudden change back to phase, so we, we weren't able to really have much collaboration sessions and we couldn't do that at the end. And it really hampered our progress and uh, we're all working by ourselves. So we so some of us can't really even like be with the robot physically itself. Yeah. And we had to share the map with other teams uh, so uh had to collaborate all the all the timings and stuff because we don't really have all that like the materials weren't enough for each of the teams to use at the same time. And uh basically I think we have to plan ahead and also be aware of the situation around us so that we'll so that we can probably finish the project maybe uh slightly earlier then we won't have been so rushed near the end near the near the deadline. Yeah. And maybe have a more clearer idea of what we are supposed to do because we are still um kind of discussing and deciding the whether to do the the ball and the rescue kit part even near the end of the even near the deadline. Yeah. So I think that's our takeaway and we kind of learned something from this experience. Um well this is the end of our presentation. Uh. So um we'll see you during the, the Zoom meeting. Alright, thank you for your time.